first day back for students across the city of Sacramento. But it's not just the first day jitters that Sac Unified students are having to deal with, and there's 40,000 of them. They're also having to deal with extreme heat. ABC 10's Devin Truby uh, spoke with the district, parents about how they plan on uh, keeping the kids cool, especially on the walk home today. Devin. Well, while we're here at McClatchy High School, we've seen about 30 students arrive so far, but only one of them is in shorts. So still a little cool this morning, but I have a feeling those sweatshirts are going to be coming off for the walk home and as we make our way into lunch. But the school district did say that all of their staff are trained in identifying the signs and symptoms of heat illness. They take a heat illness prevention class as well. All the schools also are equipped with air conditioning and as part of the facility master plan, 40% of schools right now have refillable water stations, and they're going to expand that district wide. We chatted with parents about how they're planning to keep their students cool. I have an eighth grader who is always trying to be cool, so I am trying to convince him that he does not have to wear jeans every day to school. So keeping a water bottle full, wearing shorts, loose fitting clothing, um, and if you're feeling yourself overheat, get out of the heat or get out of the sun. The district is also creating shade structures at 15 different schools right now. Caleb Glenwood is getting a new outdoor stage and seating area under a tree to provide some shade. And Elder Creek Elementary is also working on their new shade structure. Those 15 others are expected to go up by October, Walt. Busy day where you are, Devin, which is McClatchy High School, the uh, oldest public high school in Sacramento. 40,000 students, 1,700 teachers. Good luck, y'all.